Hello, um, good afternoon, good morning, good night, good evening. My name is Pastor Ojimba Alex, and you're watching Gospel Faith Television UK. Um, the topic for today is Robert Mugabe, and um, it's called A Tribute to Robert Mugabe, a born African legend. I've done um, documentaries and interviews in the past of a lot of African legends like Nelson Mandela, et al, etc. But today I'm looking at Robert Mugabe, a born African legend. This is a tribute to Robert Mugabe because we all know that he died um, last week and there's no way I was just going to let everything just slide by without talking about it. I'm an African myself, um, African parentage, born in England, raised in both Nigeria and England. So I talk, I like African issues, I like world issues as well, but let me go straight into it. I want to say, um, Robert Mugabe, we love you for who you are. You're a born fighter. And when I say you're a born fighter, you prove to the whole world that fighting doesn't necessarily have to be a physical and a fistical fight. You're a born fighter and you're a born warrior that saw a niche within um, the African society and you fill that gap with tremendous respect. Um, Robert Mugabe, you reclaimed the Zimbabwe land from the European, um, what are they called, European? Is it colonizers? Yeah, European colonizers. I don't know if that's the right word, European colonizers. But obviously there was European rule. But through your messages and through your constant um, awareness and through your constant caring and through your constant pan-Africanism, you proved that power could be taken, can be taken away from the the colonies, the colonists, or colonizers, I don't know, something not Co colonial masters, that's it. You proved that the power could be taken away from the colonial masters. You proved it. And um, Robert Mugabe, you are very highly educated, and I've been inspired by you as well. Who, who was to say? that one day, little Alexander Ojimba will become the number one evangelist and the num number one pastor in the whole world. But it's because I look up to people like great men like Robert Mugabe and Nelson Mandela. So I don't care what people say. I don't care about the negativity that comes along with Robert Mugabe. I just focus on your positive achievements. And I want to say that you are highly educated. Robert Mugabe, this is a tribute to you. I know you're dead. You're a born African legend. And I want to say you're a great English speaker. Yeah. When I listen to Robert Mugabe, you are exemplary. You are great. A great achiever. A great English speaker. English is not even your first language, but you are proof that somebody can go to school, somebody can go to secondary school, somebody can go to university, get certificates, and pick up a new language and speak it affluently. He speak English with authority. He wasn't my school teacher, but I look up to you as a teacher. You inspired me. Robert Mugabe, it doesn't matter what the negative um, news that comes on, on uh, what's it called? W within the coverages, no one can take it away from Robert Mugabe. Robert Mugabe is a great achiever. Look at the man's lifestyle. He's a great achiever. Not, not, not only is he an African legend, but Robert Mugabe is a worldwide icon. Anywhere he goes to, he's known. He's renowned. A man that came from nowhere and became the president of his country. You turn so many things around. You're a transformer, a living transformer. So basically what I'm saying is, Robert Mugabe, you, you've shown, you've indicated the possibility you've indicated you've indicated the possibility of how to transform a society 
for the better because I don't know when Gorumuka became the president of Zimbabwe, I don't know, maybe that was in the 60s or in the 70s. I don't even know, maybe I wasn't even born then. But what I'm trying to say, Africans were facing oppression on their own lands. So Robert Mugabe must have studied in, in Europe or in America. Um, he advanced himself as an individual and he came back and he proved that this thing is possible. Robert Mugabe is a very independent man, a very independent man. It takes an independent man to bring independence to his own country. Because, because prior, prior means before, because prior the Mugabe regime, maybe Zimbabwe didn't even have no independence. So he made Zimbabwe a dependent. No, he made Zimbabwe, sorry, he made Zimbabwe an independent. Independent means not depending or relying on anyone. Not depending or relying on no colonial master. And the colonial master's wearing a hat that is uh, six foot long. And the moustache is three feet wide. And he's doing twinkles. And you'd be surprised, yeah? The colonial master, as white as he is, when you ask me, they say, my name is Kofi. <laughs> but that's not where I'm going. The colonial master is even claiming an African name. You know? The hat is very long. <laughs> And you see like 500 Africans are having fun. And when the colonial master comes, they say, shut up. They all shut up and lie down on the floor. They say, what kind of regime is this? But Mugabe turned it around. Still booze. <laughs> Mugabe, Mugabe turned it around. So Mugabe is what I call a pioneer of African freedom. And you know, Mugabe just didn't do this thing for himself. You know, the media, they concentrate on the things that didn't go right with Mugabe. Why do we have to focus on the things that didn't go right with Mugabe? Why can't we focus on the people that he's inspired? Why can't we focus on the people that he has taught, that he has shown, that he has lectured, that he has taught, that African freedom is possible? That should be the focal point. Mugabe's positivity should be the focal point. A freedom fighter that succeeded. Freedom fighters come in different ways. Nigeria have a freedom fighter. Maybe not in a, in a, in a military way, but Nigeria got a freedom fighter called Sonia Kusun, a great singer. He sings about freedom fighting. Sonia Kusun talks about freedom fighting and liberation. So I could have themed this topic, Robert Mugabe, the great African liberator. But I didn't want to go down that, that route. I didn't want to go down that avenue. I themed it, Robert Mugabe, a tribute to Robert Mugabe, the born African legend. So on the news, when they're talking about all these negativities about Robert Mugabe, it's like they're trying to, they're trying to deflect my mind. Don't deflect my mind. You're telling me about the African economy and the, I don't want to hear, I, don't, I wasn't there. I want to talk about the man's great achievements. That's what I want to talk about. Because if not for Robert Mugabe, listen to this, I don't think you know this, if not for Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe will still be colonized today. Living like foxes in their own country. Being told what to do. If not for Robert Mugabe, so how about that? You want to talk about the negative things about Robert Mugabe. How about if Robert Mugabe didn't liberate his people from the colonial rule, Zimbabwe will still be colonized today. Probably Zimbabwe's name wouldn't even be Zimbabwe. Maybe Zimbabwe's name would be something like Ayon Shoko Shoko Yonko Yonko. In African language. Uh, Ebutana. And when the Europeans are talking, they say that place in Africa called Ebutanam. They're not. You know, Robert Mugabe turned it around. And it's like when he made Zimbabwe an independent country, it came with the name Zimbabwe. A beautiful name. River Zimbezi. Zimbabwe. Well, I'm not going to go into African geography because I'm not the best at African geography. But I'm not going to lose 
my focus that Robert Mugabe is a, an, a born African legend. And this is a tribute, this is a tribute to Robert Mugabe, the born African legend. And I'm saying that Zimbabwe as a nation, Zimbabwe as a country, have to be grateful to this great man called Robert Mugabe. Let's not focus on the disadvantages. Let's not focus on the negatives. Let's focus on how Zimbabwe as a nation have to be grateful to this freedom fighter, to this African legend. Let's focus on how Africa in general have got to be grateful to this born African legend. Let's focus on how black people in general around the world have got to be grateful to this African legend. We've got to focus on this man's positive achievements for the continent and the world in general. Robert Mugabe here again, he has liberated his people from the colonial rule. That means there must be something out there that you as a youngster or you as an adult can achieve for your people also. Robert Mugabe is a hero. You might not be a hero of yours, but Robert Mugabe is a hero of mine. Yes, and that's why I created my, my TV channel, Gospel Faith UK TV, is to talk about legends and heroes of the past and heroes to come, the, our unborn children. The great Mugabe is on the way in schools today. They don't teach him, they don't teach him the truth. They deceive them, they exploit them. But I'm here to tell them that there's a man that was called Robert Mugabe who is a born African legend. And this is my tribute. I dress well, I cut my hair well, I trim my hair, look at my hair. The other day I was with the barber and he was trimming my hair. And all I could hear was and my mustache was very big as well, very thick. And I asked the brother, how much would it cost me to trim the mustache? He said, 45 pounds. <laughs> and there's a couple of gray hairs in there as well, you know. <laughs> so Robert Mugabe is an African legend, yeah. A hero. You know, in Europe, they got their own icons as well. They got like Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill is a European icon, a European legend. But on the other hand, Robert Mugabe is an African legend. A born African legend. This is a tribute to a born African legend called Robert Mugabe. I can't stop singing the man's praise. Robert Mugabe inspired the whole of Africa and Robert Mugabe inspired the whole world. You're watching Gospel Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex. You can't stop me because I've been inspired by Mandela and Robert Mugabe himself and Pastor Chris Oyakidone. You, how are you going to stop me? And Jesus Christ as well. How are you going to stop me? These are the legends of life. The legends of life. Children of the earth. What do you want to tell me? You can't tell me nothing. So Robert Mugabe, I just want to say, I'm going to end part one of this program. It's called A Tribute to Robert Mugabe. You're a born African legend. And you can catch me on the other side on part two. God bless you. Peace.